everyone's ready, let's begin. I wasn't aware that others would be joining us. Since we're discussing business that could affect our ability to rebuild the Jedi, I thought it best to invite some of the Order's most important representatives. Tao is eager to hear about what happened on Dathooine. That I am. I'm sure it's quite a story. Nice to see you, Tao. I'm glad you could join us. I'm happy to be included. This is Master Sal Darren. She's been instrumental in tracking down former Jedi and identifying potential additions to the Order. I look forward to working with you. Someone with your particular skills and assets could play a crucial role in many of my plans. I look forward to doing great things with you as well, Master Saldarin. And this is Master Vinyor Tesh, one of our most diligent stewards of Jedi libraries and archives. Before we begin, I must speak plainly. I don't believe we should include anyone in this meeting who is no longer a part of the Jedi Order. You're kidding, right? Absolutely not. We're here to discuss matters that could change the fate of the Jedi forever. But you wouldn't even be having this meeting if Lanier hadn't helped us. We need allies, so with all due respect, Master Vineyard, turning away anyone who's willing to help us right now would be a big mistake. Fine. She can stay. I couldn't have said it better myself. Thank you, Arn. I completely agree. Remember, you are all here because of the part you play in restoring the Jedi, regardless of your rank or title. Now then, please tell us what happened in the Enclave on Dantooine. That soldier from the Reclamation Service, Colonel Gola, the one who tried to kill us, he said something about Malgus looking for a way to break his ties to Emperor Valron. Whatever Malgus did down there, it worked. He's not bound to the Empire anymore. Don't forget the display case we found smashed to bits. I think Malgus might have taken something from the Enclave. And Gola escaped. So everything we know, I'm sure the Empire knows too. That is troubling. Any one of the relics that were hidden in that Enclave would be deadly enough in Darth Malgus's hands. And now you say he's untethered. Arn. You and I will comb any records the Jedi still possess about the Dantooine Enclave. We must do everything we can to identify what Malgus took. Master Vinyor, we will need your assistance. Consider it done. I can start searching files immediately. I'll also need everything we have about the Osis Library. Why Osis? This isn't the first time Malgus has stolen a relic. On Osis, after Malgus left me for dead in the library, I saw him flee with something. A tome? I couldn't be sure. Everything was in such chaos, and we hadn't finished cataloging the library even before the Empire attacked. I'm glad you mentioned this. Malleus is starting to follow a pattern. My thoughts exactly. At first, I didn't see the relevance of what happened on Osis. Sith steal artifacts all the time. But now... If Malgus is ransacking Jedi ruins, we should deploy forces to any place we suspect he might go. I'll speak with General Dayroon immediately. Thank you, Master Saldarin. I'll begin compiling our records in the Dantooine Enclave. I should have something ready as soon as possible, Master Nostarov. After all that, we're no closer to knowing where Malgus has gone. Don't worry. That will change soon. In the meantime... We get ready. And when Malgus decides to show himself again, We'll be waiting for him. Good, you're here. We have much to discuss. After his visit to Dantooine, I know we're all uneasy about what Darth Malgus is planning. Master Nostaral and the others in Task Force Nova are doing all they can to dig up leads on what Malgus is after, but... Sad to say, it's slow going. Not the update I was hoping for, but not surprising. What else do we have? I think this is something you'll find intriguing. Okay, recording started. Date stamped. Encryption is working. There's a Shay Visla. I've got an update on my pursuit of Field Marshal Hedda Cole, responsible for attacking the Spirit of Vengeance, too. I want to be clear. 
My only goal is finding this traitor. And I need the Alliance's help following up. I'm sure Hedda's group, the Hidden Chain, has established a permanent base. Location unknown. I need to know who is supplying her and how. I've included my findings in this transmission. Do this, and I owe you. To my end, I'm running down a slippery recruiter with links to Hedda. I have a local Dermanda and Meksha to thank for the lead. Tell the commander that Indigo is still a grubby Minoc. All right, I'm landing in a few minutes and need to go dark. This recruiter has led me on a real chase, and I won't let him escape again. Shay out. We've done some preliminary work with Shay's intel, but we need an asset on the ground. The closed nature of the Mandalorians makes gathering information challenging. Have we got someone in mind? Akavi Spa, Mandalorian bounty hunter. No affiliation with other clans, in fact, no strong ties to any major faction. But a reputation for getting results. Thoughts? You wouldn't even mention her if you didn't think she was capable. That's enough for me. Glad to hear it. I'll make the arrangements. Keep me updated. What else is on the agenda? That's all for now, Commander. I'll notify you if anything changes. Commander, the results of the Balmoran weapon shipment have come in. The turbo lasers for the Republic base on Corellia. Affirmative. We made contact with the ex-resistance fighter Zenith. He's been in hiding since the Star Fortress over Balmora was destroyed. It didn't take much to convince him to help. Did the shipment make it? I'll let him explain the operation himself. Allow me to introduce Zenith. He's seen more action than most soldiers under my command. The Admiral mentioned you were in hiding. Sounds like you've had your share of trouble. Yes, sir. Years of fighting the Empire's occupation of Balmora got me on a few no-fly lists. After getting into legitimate politics, I found there's less blaster fire, but no less intrigue. Why don't you give the Commander a rundown on the weapons shipment? Of course, Admiral. I can confirm the turbo lasers have been delivered. We intercepted an Imperial ship before it came within blaster range. A second team disabled another before it left the dock. I call that good news. Agreed. I don't think I'm speaking out of turn when I say we could use people like you on our side. I respect what you do, Admiral. You fight the right kind of battles. You faced down the Eternal Empire and didn't blink. We won't forget that. But you have Imperials in your ranks. Former Imperials. So I've heard. All the same, my team doesn't work with Imperials of any kind. Everyone here works toward a common goal. You've just proven you can do the same. On my terms. I work for the future of Balmora and its people. If you have an objective that matches up with that, we'll talk. Until then, you have my thanks for the help. If you change your mind, we're here. Copy that, Commander. Now that all the important people are here, let's get down to business. Akavi, what have you got? Based on intelligence provided by Mandalore, I was able to narrow my search and scout potential suppliers to Hedda Cole and her group, the Hidden Chain. Hedda's targets, outer rim colonies and transports on the Rim of Trade route, point to powerful trade houses shutting down their competition with her guns. Those will likely be our suppliers. I have advised Jakaya Ordo, and he is marshaling Mandalore's fleet as a precaution. You'll find everything I uncovered in my report. Okay, we'll get our analysts on that. Good work. Is there anything else? We've got a message from Master Nostaral. Looks like he might have found something on whatever it was Malgus took from Dan Tween. It's taken some time, but Barn, Master Vinyar, and I have made a breakthrough. We almost missed it. A fresh look from Arn confirmed what we'd found. The containment system you found in the Dantooine ruins. It appeared in a list of antiquities taken to the Dantooine Enclave for protection centuries ago. We consulted some older records from Osis, and while we still don't know exactly what Malgus stole, we learned that the relic belonged to a Sith known only as Darth Null. Unfortunately, there wasn't much else to learn about the mysterious Sith, but we're passing along all that we found. 
I'm afraid we've only created a new puzzle to solve, my friend. I went ahead and took a peek at the data Nostarol sent. Sounds like Task Force Nova thinks this Darth Null lead could be promising. They located an old Sith fortress that might have belonged to Darth Null. Nostarol and Master Saldarin have already sent a team to check it out. If there's any way the Alliance can help their search, let's do it. Troops, credits, researchers, whatever Task Force Nova needs, it's theirs. I'm sure any assistance we provide will be greatly appreciated. But I believe our time would be best spent following up on this. What am I seeing? This is where Darth Null's relic was first discovered. There are not many who know this planet. It is in a dark region of wild space. A dangerous, untamed world. If your intention is to investigate the source of this relic, you must send someone strong to this place. Someone who knows this region of the galaxy. I suggest Arkin. Our Jedi friends might not be too happy about Arkin running point on this. The guy did almost destroy them. A valid concern, but ultimately the decision is yours, Commander. Masana Rey is right. Arkin is the best choice for this mission. We'll deal with any consequences later. Arkin should be adequately prepared. I will speak with him and share everything I know about his destination. That would be appreciated. Then it sounds like we all have our marching orders. Until next time. You must be Akavi's bar. That's correct. I understand you recommended me for this mission. I appreciate the chance to help with Mandalore's hunt. We needed someone on the ground familiar with Mandalorian ways. You were right to send me. Those who supply had a coal are paranoid and prone to disappear. It is only because I am Mandalorian that I got as close as I did. The suppliers are very much afraid of Hedda's wrath should they disappoint her, or worse, reveal any of her secrets. She's being very careful. Her ruthless reputation and a seemingly endless supply of credits from her raids means she can keep her secrets. Her suspected suppliers and my report are scattered across the galaxy. We find them, we hurt her. Was there any word from Shay on how her hunt is going? I heard a few rumors as I worked to locate the suppliers. Any news of Mandalore's movement spreads like an oil fire. She was spotted running someone down through the streets in the camp. The huts have offered a bounty on her. Foolish. The briefing was the first confirmation I have heard of her whereabouts. Until I can fight alongside her, I don't expect this to change. But I should get back to helping your analysts go through my report. I'm sure they're anxious to go through the details with you. Keep me informed.